been waiting for you. Mia, we gotta get out of here. My goldfish is after me and he... Oh, never mind. You won't believe me anyway. You mean that he's trying to take over the world? I've known all along, Beanie. You do? That's great! Yes, and it's about time we did something about meddling busybodies like you. How do you like your new dig? I think I'll keep you as my pet while I finally rule the world. <laughs> no! No! <sighs> oh, it was just a dream. No more pork rinds before I go to sleep. What's the matter? Feeling a little anxious about the big school dance? Let me guess. You haven't found a partner yet. Oh, never mind that. You haven't tried taking over the world in a week. I don't know what you're up to, but I've got my eye on you. Shouldn't you be going to school and bringing down the bell curve? Something smells funny. Did the milk go bad? What, I can't wear a little perfume for a change? Oh, by the way, I stamped and mailed that envelope you left on the counter the other day. Uh, who's plastogenic thermonuclear, anyway? I didn't leave an envelope. Oh, the mailman will be here any minute. Plastogenic thermonuclear? The mailman? I knew Admiral Bubbles was up to something. <laughs> My H-bomb kit is here! I'll have to remember to thank the brave men and women of the Postal Service when I blow this town to smithereens. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, what a coincidence. Coming down to pick up my mail and running into my favorite mailman. Yeah, lucky me. I got a thingamajig outside with your son's name on it. It's a thermonuclear device, and it's not mine. My goldfish ordered it using my name so he can take over the world. <sighs> right. Well, in that case, your goldfish can pick it up at the post office, because I'm not lugging it upstairs for him. <sighs> Again with your goldfish talk, Beanie? He was my last chance. After the phone repair man, the gas meter man, and the garbage collector. You think I only have one trick up my sleeve? How little you know me, my red-headed little nemesis. Is that for me? You know, no one's asked me to the dance. Yet. What? No, I, I mean, well, who cares about some school dance? Because I don't, you know. Do you? Who, me? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> well, see you later, I guess. Way smooth, Casanova. I've got something for you. Oh! Wow, for me? It's interesting. The poison oak is a nice touch. <laughs> Funny thing, I thought you were gonna punch me. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the dance. You bet. If you can't make the post office come to you, then go to the post office. This way, I can pick up my parcel without causing suspicion. All it needs now is to give it a little personality. Let's see. 
How can I make him perfect? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I'll create him in my own image. I need impeccable demeanor and charisma. The ocean is like a woman. Beautiful, mysterious, and unpredictable. And she won't return my calls, either. A touch of hard-nosed street smarts. Can you carry a tone, Murphy? Then you better sing. Sing like a canary! Of course, I need pithy remarks. See you later, alligator. And last but not least, a dab of gritty in-your-face no-nonsense. There's two kinds of people in hockey and in life. There's center, there's defense, and there's the goalie. Okay, three kinds. I'm brilliant. I'd kiss myself, but I'll only make myself jealous. This walking upright business isn't so tough. It took those dumb humans millions of years to get it right, but I picked it up in just a few minutes. Hey, buddy, what are you, colorblind? The light's red! Where are my manners? I forgot to ask for the right of way. Have a nice day. The post office. In a minute, I'll be holding my H-bomb kit. Uh, why don't you watch where you're going, you... You gorgeous, handsome stranger, you? Oh no, it's Beanie's mom. No harm done. I'll just be on my way. Please, let me make it up to you. It's all my fault. Oh my, I can tell you work out. You feel so strong and single. Of all the street corners in all the world, you had to run into me. You're right. It has to be fate. It's so nice having a strong man around for once. I always get tired carrying these bags home. Hmm. She just won't take no for an answer. I have no choice but to be more insistent. While you're at it, maybe you can teach my son some of your good manners. He could use a male role model. Hold the phone. She's giving me an idea. I can blow up the world any day I want, but how often do I get to truly mess with Beanie's life? Hmm, I'll make his life a living nightmare. Excuse me? I mean, I can't wait to meet the little darling. How was your day at school? What on earth happened to you? Desmona asked me to be her dance partner and she wouldn't take no for an answer. Mind you, it's hard to say anything when you're being dragged by your feet through thistle and poison ivy. Well, get cleaned up. We have company. Sweetie, this is Mr. Joe Splendid. He helped carry my bags and I asked him to stay for dinner. Call me Joe, Beanie. And Joe, meet B... Wait, how did you know his name? Uh, he's got the look of a uh, beanie. Here, uh, let me help you with that. Oops. Hey, you know what? Why don't you change and let me take you out for a nice dinner instead? Something's not right with that guy. You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Gone fishing, don't wait up. I knew it! Hey there, Joe. Or should I say, Admiral Bubbles? I know you're in there. Come out! You're crowding my breathing space, kid. How do you open this thing? Ha! <laughs> Good luck. This fortress is impenetrable. Now, get off me. <laughs> You guys, this is so great. You've only just met and already you're horsing around like old pals. No, Mom, it's Admiral Bubbles. He's up to no good again. Yes, about that. Do you think you could for one evening tone down the evil goldfish overlord stories, please? I had a wonderful dinner. 
I am but a castaway on the desert island of your pupils, among the emerald sea of your eyes. And otherwise, you're a swell dame. Oh, thanks again. Good night. Looks like someone fell asleep while trying to catch me in the act. And now, for a quick charge. Tomorrow I'll go to the post office and build my doomsday device. I'll... Turn down the TV, Mom. I'll almost miss this family when I level the town. <laughs> I fell asleep waiting up! Mom, we need to talk about last night. Good morning, sweetie. Look who just dropped in. Yes, I thought what better way to spend a spring-like Saturday than a picnic on the beach. He means the park. I'll get my frisbee. Uh, actually, Joe and I are going alone, but he has an excellent activity for you. Yeah, Rover's left an awful mess at the dog park, and guess who I volunteered for the cleanup crew? It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> See? Joe says this is an excellent opportunity for you to build character, and I agree. Well, I'm not going until I've watched my Saturday morning cartoons. Simple entertainment for a simple mind. Beautiful day today with a high of one last night's game leading by four points. Uh, that's all, folks. Give me that, kid. Don't you know that'll rot your mind? Wait a minute. What happened just now? We're off. Have fun today, sweetie. Be careful where you step today. You wouldn't want to bring your work home with you. <laughs> Okay. Go long. I got it. I got it. <laughs> that ought to keep her occupied for a while. Joe thinks you should jump off a bridge. So do it. Do this, do that. Speaking of which, and I bet I know where he's going. Don't you know it's not nice following people around? I know what you're up to. You thought you'd keep me knee-deep in dog poop while you went to the post office to get your H-bomb. It's been fun making your life miserable, but I've got a busy day blowing stuff up ahead of me. So please, don't take this personally. <laughs> nice uppercut, but how's your footwork? Smile for the birdie. Wait, I need a pithy remark. Oh, what the heck. I can't think of anything. I'll just punch you! Run, Murphy. Even your sewer rat friends can't help you now. I came to pick up my parcel. Name's Beanie. Don't ask, it's my mother's idea of a practical joke. Again? Don't give me lip. What are you talking about? Well, according to the computer, you were here just five minutes ago and had the parcel shipped to Moose Jaw. Touché, my sewer-dwelling simian friend. I see now that I'll have to get you out of my way for good. Beanie, we have a surprise for you. We? Your mother remembered you mentioning you hadn't found a date yet. I thought, what kind of father figure would I be if I didn't help a boy get over his awkwardness with girls? I'm going to shave my name to the back of your head. Beanie, could you come to the living room?
room, please? Beanie, Joe and I were talking, and he suggested... Your mom is having you transferred to a boarding school, you little brat. Um, I mean, <laughs> you little rascal. What? Mom, you can't seriously listen to anything he has to say. At least come to my room and look at the fishbowl. See, this is exactly why you need discipline. The Oliver Twist Academy is a very good school. Don't worry, you'll still come home every weekend. Now go get washed up for supper. This is a nightmare! With you out of the way, I can finally build my doomsday machine. Ha 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 ha. I think you'd make an excellent choice by enrolling your son here. We believe in shaping young minds through discipline. And frequent paddling. Uh, no, we're not allowed to do that anymore. If it's a question of money, Murphy, I'm willing to pay extra. <laughs> what a kidder. Beanie isn't a bad seed, he just needs a little guidance. Yeah, guidance, like guiding me to the nearest exit. <laughs> what a sharp wit. I'll miss this kid. We offer all sorts of activities to channel children's energy. We also have an excellent science program. Science? You have a lab? Oh yes, one of the best in the country. Uh, why don't you go on without me? I need to go to the powder room. Yeah, I, uh, I have to use the bathroom too. Uh, catch up with you, Mom. I'm gonna need some way to catch Admiral Bubbles red-handed. The photo lab, just what I need. This is a very good school. And what better way to celebrate it than to blow it up with Beanie in it. Say cheese. Oh, this is perfect. You and Joe Splendid working on a doomsday device. Once I show Mom, I think I'll sell this picture to the National Tattler for a zillion bucks. Bravo, you got me. But you're too late. When the bell rings, the sound will make this bomb go off and send the school and everyone inside sky high. Unless you can find where this shoot goes before time's up. No! I hate the way the camera always adds 10 pounds. No! Only two minutes to go. I can always keep the bell from ringing. <laughs> He'll never make it in time. I better get out of here. The bell! Where's the bell? About Admiral Bubbles? Well, have I got something to show you. Rats! It's all burnt! Let me guess. You had a picture of your goldfish building some sort of bomb to blow up the school so he could take over the world? Well, sure, it sounds silly when you say it like that. Knock, knock, anyone home? I thought I'd drop in once the school didn't explode. I, I mean, <laughs> once it let out. Sorry I couldn't stay, but there'll be plenty of opportunities for me to drop in and finish the job once and for all. Next week you're going in the slammer to do hard time, Murphy. Next week? So soon? I was thinking more like next semester, or maybe next year even. I haven't made up my mind yet. Let me help you decide, Mom. You wouldn't dare. Don't do it, Murphy. Speedlock on the 25 going east. Oh, it's all the time. Look out, Jimmy's got a gun. Shh. 
Sheesh, Louise, stop mothering the kid. He's gonna end up wearing a tutu when he grows up. I didn't say that. Testing, testing, hello, one, two, three. Excuse me? You're excused. To the kitchen. Why aren't you making me my dinner? If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. That makes two of us, Louise. A kid's place is on my knees under the strap, and yours is next to the stove. Come on, my steak isn't gonna cook itself. Beanie, please show Mr. Splendid the way out. He's leaving for good. Now. My pleasure. Give me that, Murphy. <laughs> This thing has a life of its own. Stop! Enough! I give up! I give up! Okay, three kinds. Alligator, 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 alligator. Ooh, that's cold. Rejected by your own creation. Nice duds. For a penguin. Like I should take lessons in style from someone who's gonna be his own nightlight for the next two weeks? <sighs> Here goes nothing. It's now or never. Hi, Mia. For me, you shouldn't have. Carnations, my favorite. Aren't you gonna ask me to dance? Uh, actually, I was gonna ask. No, oh, oh, oh! 